the major themes of this election is, who shouldn't be in America? And one of the major answers to that question has been Syrian refugees, despite Vladimir Putin working day and night to create more of them. We turn out of the long and bloody war in Syria and new drone video that shows the utter devastation of the city of Homs, where one million people live before the war. Who are these refugees and why do they hate America so much that they're willing to be bombed into homelessness just to freak us out? I gathered my courage and went to find out. With millions of Syrians displaced, nations all over the world are scrambling to accept as many refugees as their borders can handle. Welcome to your new home. The people of Canada welcomed Syrian refugees with this touching greeting. Welcome to Canada. Welcome to Canada. I'm gonna be your friends. I love you. In the United States, we made our own welcome video. I don't want any terrorists. We're not gonna allow them into the state of Alabama. Members of an anti-Islam group protested outside a mosque in Irving today. We may be importing our own death. <laughs> Maybe we should take a break from shitting our pants to meet the people we're incoherently yelling at. traveled to Jordan, where over a million Syrian refugees actually live. And despite that, as I walked the streets of Amman, I felt safe, welcomed, and maybe even a little bit inspired. Oh, I don't really know how to play this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But was Jordan just lulling me into a false sense of security with its normalness and love of lamestream establishment politics? I needed to see these Syrians up close, so I took a two-hour drive to the Syrian border to visit the Jabber Farms refugee camp and ask them, who are you? You sound very reasonable to me. That alone makes me feel suspicious. <laughs> what are your thoughts on ISIS? I hate ISIS. Do you think that Americans have Syrians wrong? You know what? That's for the best. <laughs> After talking to them, it was clear they only wanted a peaceful place to raise their family. <laughs> First of all, we don't even know how many of our are really Syrian refugees. Could very well be the ultimate Trojan horse. There are no government records. We don't know who these people are. And when you meet with the people doing the vetting, they tell us that. Person doing the vetting, Kate Dorsch. The refugee program undergoes the most amount of security screening than any other immigrant visa. When you hear someone saying that this could be a Trojan horse, or that all Muslims should be banned, or that it's gross for Hillary Clinton to use the bathroom, what do you say to that hypothetical <laughs> asshole person? The process of resettlement is very long. From the time they enter our pipeline, it generally takes around 18 to 24 months. We create a case file and we enter all the information into a database, which is shared with the FBI, the National Counterterrorism Center, and the Department of Defense. Why doesn't a large portion of the American public believe that? <laughs> They're young, strong men. Young, able-bodied men. Young men yep. of fighting age. No, it's actually about 2% of our caseload are, are single men. These are survivors of violence and torture, or they also could be LGBT refugees. So these are the most, 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 most vulnerable cases. Correct. Like women, minors, children, more children, orphaned children, widowed women. And look, here's some children over here. And here's a big one next to a little... <laughs> They could be ISIS. I don't know. ISIS wants to infiltrate the refugee population. Waging jihad and murdering Americans. Holy shit, you guys. Okay, one more time. I think people don't understand that refugees can't just sign up for resettlement. They can't go and say, hey, I want to go to America. Let's make this really simple. Say you're a terrorist and you want to sneak in as a refugee. Hey, Salam, it's me, ISIS. Oh, this is going to be easy. All I got to do is dress up as a woman, maybe take a baby. Now let's say you managed to make it into a camp and you're one of the less than 1% selected for resettlement. Whee! I got past the UN, Department of State, Homeland Security, CIA. Here I come. Oh, I got caught. 
But let's pretend you didn't get caught. Get to America! You still don't get to choose where you get resettled. Death to Sil and Jarvie? Where the fuck am I? Oh no! You made it to the waterboard! So if you were a terrorist and you wanted to impersonate a refugee to like sneak into a Western country, you would be a real ding dong. So when this horde of fraudulent rage prophets are out there scaring Americans for votes, remember, these refugees are just like us. They want to go back to their homes, but they can't. And at the end of the day, they just want to sit back and watch a little basic cable. What? What are you doing in here? I wanted to see you. I love Meryl Streep. I love Alec Baldwin. But unlike the complex love triangle between Alec, Meryl, and Steve, it isn't that complicated. شوف بالأفلام إنه الشعب الأمريكي يحب الخير ويحب يساعد الناس. You sound like someone who really understands the principles that America was built on. You are going to stick out like a sore thumb there. Oh, God. Next week on The People We're Incoherently Yelling About, I help the very select group of Syrian refugees coming to America prepare for assimilation. Can I have... Can I have... Your... Your... HBO Go <laughs> login. <laughs> That's good. <laughs>